Africa's football playing president engaging in his favorite pastime. Not what you'd expect from a head of state of a country that's in turmoil, where young people are busy pelting police with stones instead of going to school, and where the police have also been seen to return the favor. The drama and violence coming after he declared his intention to seek a third term. More than 90-90% of our territory is calm, is quiet, is also peaceful. You have security. You have seen that even uh, on the 119 uh, communes, we have peace and security. On uh, 18 uh, uh, provinces, we have peace and security. The small problems we have seen on the international media is only around 10% of the Bujumbura city. Constitutionally, Burundi is supposed to have finished all four legs to its election before the end of August. The big question, though, is whether the polls can be peaceful, free, and fair. What about the activists and journalists languishing in jail or in hiding? Media outlets that have been closed down? A clamp down on social media? And the tens of thousands of Burundi who have been disenfranchised as they have had to flee their country? Well, speaking of the coup d'etat, are you going to reach out to those who uh, attempted a coup, or do you feel it does need to be prosecuted? After, uh, after the, the judgment, uh, in the, according to the Constitution, there is no people who, who can interfere, interfere in the justice matters. The only way to access or to, 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 to access to the power, we must pass through the elections. So this uh, coup d'etat will be taken seriously with the justice, but according to the political will, after the judgment, we will see what can be done. Well, things will be a lot clearer after next week's meeting, expected to be convened under the auspices of the United Nations, where political parties, organs of civil society, as well as the Electoral Commission will converge and discuss where to from here. Vuyambogo, SABC News, Bujumbura, Burundi.